Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and this video is a beginner's guide of Canva using which you can design almost anything you want. If you are a subscriber of this channel, you will know my channel is all about creating your own mobile apps using MIT App Inventor. So these mobile apps should have a great UI design. One way of making a great UI design for your mobile app is by creating great icons. These icons can be done using Canva. Even if you are not a mobile app developer, Canva is very useful for you to create anything you want like videos, advertisements, posters, etc. Now after you log in and sign up into Canva, you will be able to see the home page of Canva. So here are the different templates. For templates you can use ready made templates. So as you can see, you can create presentations and you can create images or GIFs for social media, videos and many more. So what I'm going to do is at the top click on this button, create a design. Now you will be able to see there are different options. So these are these options are there to choose the dimensions for your video or an image. So now I'm going to go with the logo or if you want your own custom dimension, you can click on this and enter your width and height. So I'm going to use the default logo one. So I'll go over here and I'm going to click on logo, which is 500 into 500 pixels. Now you can see that the project is created. First, I'm going to rename this project. So I'll just put sample logo over here. Now let us see how the Canva UI looks. So over here you have the different templates, the elements, and you can also upload your own images, text, and if, if, if you want, you can also add backgrounds. So if you click on more, as you can see, there are many photos. So I'll click on photos. And as you can see, the photos are visible. The same way I'm going to click on background and I'll go to more and click on video. Here is where you'll work on your project. And this is known as the canvas. So over here from the templates, I'm going to bring a template to start with. So as you can see, there are many templates. So you can bring the one which you feel is good and it suits for your logo. Now I'm going to use this template just for an example like this and then as you can see th these are the images and as you can see there are there's a text. So first I'm going to click on the background like this and when you click on it you'll be able to see at the top bar there are different properties. Now as you can see there are only two so if I select this you can see there are many other properties. So I'm going to select the background first and over here I'm going to change the background color by clicking over here. And as you can see, you can choose the color. So now what I'm going to do is I'll put a blue color like this. Next, I'm going to click on this logo. And over here, as you can see, there are five colors. So you, these are, these colors are also editable, which means you can change them over here at this toolbar. So now I'm going to change this green shade color to be like a red shade or a blue shade color. So I'll click on the color. So I'm going to change it to be an orange shade. So over here I'll put the darkest orange and the next color is going to be somewhat light which is similar to peach and then I'll put this color to be yellow and then this should be blue. So as you can see it has been changed. So you can put any color you want and as you, you can change all of these colors. So next what I'm going to do is I'll go on to edit image and over here what you can do is first of all there are many smart mockups which means that if you click on any mockup like a laptop, you'll be able to see the image inside that. Now it is processing and loading. Now as you can see, the logo is inside that. So I'll undo this by doing Ctrl Z as I don't want something like that in a logo. Next, there are also filters over here in edit image. As you can see, there are many filters which you can apply. Next time, I, let's say we need to crop this image or crop the logo. Over here, first select the logo and go over here to crop. Next, as you can see, you can crop. So I'll just cut out the years and I'll click on done. Now you can see that it is the years are gone. So I'll just undo it by doing Ctrl Z. Next, you can flip it. So you can flip it horizontally or you can flip it vertically like this. Next, what I'm going to do is you can also reduce and increase the transparency. And there are many other options which we will see soon. Now let us select the text over here and you can see that the properties, the toolbar changes. Over here you can select the font of the text 
so i'm going to change the font of this text to be something like this one and as you can see the font is changed i'll now increase the size and i'm going to make it to be bold you can also make it italic i'll just leave it bold like that and over here you can change the color so i'll leave it to be green and then over here you can change the alignment so as you can see this is left alignment you can do the center align the right alignment and then the center one like this next you can also add a list where you can put bullet points and items and there are much much more which you can do so i'm going to go to effects and these are the different effects for the text so you can add a shadow and you can see that there's a little shadow which is transparent behind the main text and i'm going to put the neon effect which will make this glow and every effect has its own property so for example this effect has a property called intensity which you can increase and decrease so as you can see there's a change when you increase the intensity in the text now you can also animate this this will be useful you can use the animate when you are creating gifs or videos next let's move on to this text i'll just select it i'm going to change the text color of this to be like light blue and then you can do whatever you want like making it bold and all that now as you are familiar with the canva ui design and how to work on canva let's see more features in canva next what i'm going to do is over here let me go to elements and this is where you have different logos you have graphics and you have lines and shapes photos videos and also audio you can insert charts and much more so now i'm just going to bring in a simple circle and as you know even this is a an an element which is over here so here you can change the circle's color so i'll just put it to be like somewhat like blue and then i'm going to make this smaller by just dragging it from the corner so i'll make it the size of the logo and now as you can see there's an option for transparency i'll just put this down to be somewhat like 60 next up what i'm going to do is i'll just go over here and i'll bring this video i'll bring this logo up now as you can see whenever i put it over here you can see that due to the transparency it is the logo is somewhat visible now another thing which you can do is you can bring this as if you if you were working with photoshop or advanced editing you will know how to use layers so same way in canva instead of layers you have something called position using which you can send items or elements forward or backward so if i send this backward as you can see this is the logo is overlapping the circle element now what i'll do is i'll i'll just change the color to show you that and as you can see this is overlapping right now now i'll go to the position and i'm going to make this send this logo to the backward so i'll click on backward now you can see that this logo went backward and the circle came forward now you can cover it with like this as you can see the temp transparency is 60 so you can you be able to see through it next let us look at uploads this is where you can upload your own images or media from your computer or anywhere else so as you can see you can upload it from google drive dropbox facebook instagram and google photos so you can bring it over here you can also record yourself over here so you can screen record your screen or you can record yourself the camera also you can bring in videos and audio the same way in photos you have different free stock photos and if you see a crown icon near a photo it means that it is a pro so now for example if i'm going to go to a photo like i'll just search for something like car and i click on enter in the elements you'll be able to see that some of them are free and some of them have this icon a crown icon over here which means that they are only for pro so if you want to get canva pro you can upgrade it over here by clicking on get canva pro next what you can do is in the text you can see there are different texts and these are the text templates which are already available using which you can edit them and you can just bring in the normal text like this next in the videos if you are creating videos these are free stock videos which you can use and if here again if you see a crown it means that it is for a pro version of canva in the same way in the background you can see there are different backgrounds so i just click on one background 
and you can see that after some time the background will get changed as you can see now it has changed now you can see that i am using a pro background so you will be able to see the canva watermark underneath if if your canva version is a free version so also you will not be able to download it without paying for the image if the image is a pro so i'll just undo this and now i'm going to go to more here you can insert audio or music as you can see there are different audios and musics next you can insert charts so what i'm going to do is i'll just bring in the progress bar by dragging it over here and now i'll make this smaller and now for each chart or each progress bar or anything which you're bringing you'll be able to see the properties here and i'm going to change the percentage to be like 54 and the line weight you can see that i can make it thick and i can make it thin using the line weight property next when you go to more you'll also be able to see there are many apps and integrations so for example if you want emojis you can click on emoji and now you can see all the emojis which you can use over here now i'll go to more again and now you can insert qr codes and if you don't know what pixels and pixabay are there are they are free stock images which you can get images and videos and insert them over here in canva you can also get it from google drive and there are many more options like this thanks for watching and if you want to create your own mobile apps using mit app inventor which is easy you can watch the full course over here and if you want to see how to create a chat app using mit app inventor watch this video